Specification clauses defined with NBS building can now be added to an Archicad project with the new NBS add-on. The add-on ensures that users are placing clauses that are up to date from a current project specification saved within NBS building. The project specification conforms to the Construction Project Information Committee to deliver the best practice for the preparation of construction production information. This is done through the common arrangement of work sections, cores and uniclass systems. Developments by CPIC are sponsored by major governing bodies who play an active role in the committee. These include the Royal Institute of British Architects, the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors, the Construction Confederation, Institute of Sonal Engineers and more recently the Chartered Institute of Architectural Technologists. Let's look at the key benefits of the Archicad and MBS link. The MBS specification clauses are taken directly from the MBS specification. They are added automatically based on either the text or label tool in Archicad. As the user does not type any data, there is no risk of any typographical errors being introduced. The specification can be updated at any time and can run parallel with the Archicad project. Archicad enables the user to easily identify which clauses have been modified and in which views they have been placed. Quick and automatic methods to enable the clauses to be synchronised. Most importantly, the clauses added to the model are fully coordinated with the MBS specification. And finally, it follows Archicad's coordinated documentation approach. In order to add NBS specification clauses to an Archicad model, a specification needs to be defined in NBS building. Let's look first at the functionality within NBS building with NBS Plus with a specification that's already in progress. The specification contains a number of work sections. The work sections can be defined from the following sources. The NBS library. Your own office standards. The current project source. Or any existing project specification. By selecting a section you can copy clauses or insert your own. Once the sections have been added you need to refine the specification and decide on which ones you will include for use in your project. The specification is progressed by either removing or completing the appropriate clauses the icon to the left of each clause allows this functionality, giving three choices, markers included, markers pending, or markers excluded. For clauses to be set to be included, they need to be fully completed. The hierarchical tree structure includes blue icons that show the percentage of completion of each section and subsection. As you can see, section J40, flexible sheet tanking and damp, proof, damp proofing, is almost complete. You can further complete clauses with project specific information. Let's look at section H43 120 metal composite panel. As you can see, this clause contains choices for the specification. Users can select the arrow to use predefined values from the pop-up. Here we'll define the support structure, the bearing width and the core insulation type. The guidance notes on the right of the screen always show relevant information including British standards to the clause you're editing. Here for this clause we can look at guidance for both the pitch and maybe the joint type. With NBS Plus, you have the option to add further clauses based on manufacturer's data. Here we will select the Kingspan Optimo wall cladding panel and add this as a subclause to the specification. We 
can then complete the attributes for this element and then mark it as included within the specification. Access rights can be set up and revisions of the specification can be tracked at any time the specification can be published incorporating any company style. The specification can be linked to Archicad by choosing the Select Specification menu item from the Documentation Extra sub-menu. This menu item is automatically added once you install the add-on. Once the link to the specification has been made, individual clauses are then available to be selected from the chosen specification and can be added to elements in Archicad. The clauses can be added to any plan, section, elevation, worksheet, detail, or 3D document view. Here we can see a typical detail that contains NBS clause references. The user can either add the clause as an annotation using the text tool or a label using the label tool. Using the label method with an element selected prior to the command ensures that the annotation is automatically associated to the element. Once either of the menu items are selected you are transported to NBS Annotator. Annotator allows communication between NBS Building and Archicad giving access to any of the clauses added to the specification. Select the appropriate clause and it will be placed according to the settings in the label or text tools. You can then manipulate the clause using basic Archicad editing techniques. You can check which specification is linked to the model by selecting the Review Annotations function. The report identifies both the Archicad model and specification locations, as well as the clauses added to Archicad and their current status. As the clauses can be placed into any model view, ensuring these clauses are coordinated and up to date with a central database would traditionally be a time-consuming task. The Archicad add-on provides the facility to automate this procedure. Let's edit the project specification in NBS Building and make an alteration to an existing clause that we now know is being used in the Archicad model. Once the project specification has been saved, we can check and update any changed clause simply by choosing the Update Annotations function. This will collect all of the annotations in Archicad and compare them to the latest specification in NBS and then highlight any changed clause. Any clause items that are found to be different are displayed in a hierarchical tree. This identifies where in the model the occurrences of each clause is placed. To aid the review reviewing process for each of these changed clauses, the view function in the update tools will transport the user to the correct view and select the appropriate clause. The user can then choose to update the clauses individually or globally. Provide fully coordinated specification documentation now with the use of MVS building clauses in Archicad.